Hey guys, what is up? It's me, Darcy here, and welcome back to another video, and welcome... Okay, hey guys, what is up? It's me Darcy here and welcome back to another video and what I've got for you guys today is another Minecraft pocket edition video and yeah So I made a video a couple months ago that was uh, that taught people how to get Minecraft pocket maps for MCPE But that required jailbreak and a lot of people are pissed. That I didn't do one for non jailbreak So here the video is so first thing you want to do is go to the app store type in I explore and it's the app that you're gonna need so go ahead and download it. It's a free app, so don't worry, you don't need to pay or anything. Then you want to scroll down and go to... Actually, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just showing you guys. So if you guys don't have that much space on your phone, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Since it's only 16 megabytes, so it should also be a quick download. So yeah, so let's, we're just going to go ahead and wait for that to download. And yeah, so the video I made a couple months ago for jailbreak, it's a lot easier. So if you are a jailbroken iOS user, um, check the description down below. I might have something in the, uh, uh, like in the video so you guys can check it out. <clears throat> but yeah, so if you're not... Um, keep watching this video because this is going to teach you guys how to do it. So once it's finished downloading in a second, you want to go ahead and move over to your PC. We are back onto the computer and actually not back. It's the first time. So once you go, um, once you get on your computer, make sure to check out the links I have in the description. The first link is going to take you to this website for iExplorer. And it's also the same as the app that we downloaded on our computer, uh, on, our, on our iOS device. And yeah, so if you're on Mac or PC, you can click the button. But I think I don't, since I'm on... Uh, uh, a, a PC automatically takes me to the one I need so I just go ahead and click download go ahead and wait for it to start downloading and right there in the bottom left you see it's downloading and yeah so um, there currently I don't think is any way that you can download without using a computer so I think this is the only way there was like that MCPE mapping that worked a while ago it worked for a little bit and then stopped working but hopefully hopefully not hopefully hopefully they can fix that but for now this is the best thing that we've got so once it's finished downloading in a second, we're going to go ahead and open up uh, the next link and almost there. And yeah, so actually we're going to go ahead and install it. So you just want to go ahead and click on it. Um, now we're just going to wait for the thing to pop up and let's go. Come on. <clears throat> yeah. So <laughs> if you guys hear sounds in the background, I have a little cousin Oprah who's kind of being annoying right now. But yeah, so um it should be opening up anytime now so yeah it's gonna pop up what select whatever language you want it says english so i just click ok and i click next um i accept click next next uh i'm gonna say yeah since i already downloaded it before um you guys do not need to uh have that or quick time installed so you got you don't need to check it so just click next next ok next and i'm gonna do create a desktop icon i don't need to launch it quite yet um but if you want you can have it open since we are going to open it a little bit later so yeah once that's done you want to go ahead and click finish but i'm just going to uncheck the launch export since i'm not going to do that right now and yeah let's click finish and that's it for that so want to go ahead and go ahead and click the second link in the description and that is for winrar so this is what you're going to use to unzip your uh the the map so yeah, um, it works for I. Uh, this works for uh, Mac right there, as you guys can see, and for PC. But if you don't know if your PC is 64-bit or 32-bit, this is how you find out. Do so you want to go ahead and go to your folders thing? Left-click on the thing that says this PE. If you have anything under Windows 10, it's gonna say uh, my computer, but Windows 10 says this PC. Left-click, click my properties, and right there, as you guys can see. Mine says 64-bit operating, so mine says 64-bit, but you guys make sure to check if um, so you know if it, yours is 32 or 64. So yeah, so now that mine's 64, I'm going to click the one that says 64 and wait for it to download. And if you guys are Mac, click the one a little bit below that says um, or our 5.3 for Mac, 1.5x or whatever. I can't really see right now. Um, but yeah, so you want to click that if you're on Mac. So now, once we download it, once again, you want to go ahead and click on it once it's done installing, downloading. And go ahead and wait for pop up to come. Um, yeah, so let's see. This should take not too long. There we go. You want to click uh, OK, next, and all that stuff. Go ahead and wait for the green to finish up. And once that's done, you want to click OK. And yeah, so I think once we click OK, that will be it. And actually, I click done. And there we go. Now it's done. And it automatically brings up the folder with it. So I'm just going to. I think, yeah, I don't want to have that in a folder since I don't know where it's going to be. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag it to my desktop so that I know where it is. And yeah, I mean, it's not too crucial that you know where it is, but I just like having it on my desktop. So yeah, now that you've done that, we want to go ahead, open the computer, 
type in MCPE maps and this is going to take you to websites where you want to download a map. If you watch a video and have the download link then you can just um, enter in the download link on your computer. You don't need to go to any of these websites. But yeah, there's a ton of websites that you can download any map from. But yeah, I'm just going to choose MCP MCPE Universe and yeah not MC. Minecraft. Yeah it is MC. Yeah, And then you can just go ahead and look for maps. I'm going to see what's hot right now but yeah once again so if you're watching a youtube video like i made a map video a couple days ago and if you go if you're watching my youtube video on the computer and you click the video in the description then you will be able to uh the link in the description then it will take you to the download link and now so let's just choose a random map so i'm gonna go to this one click download looks looks interesting i guess there's some redstone stuff but yeah so i want to go ahead and scroll down once the page loads up and we'll have stuff uh, that the maker says about it. And now, you want to go ahead and click the download button. And yeah, so I think there are two kinds of downloads. You can either have a media fire or a Dropbox. If it says Dropbox, you want to click the button on the left that says download. And something might pop up and it pops up, click X and download again. But if you are on, if it opens up a media fire thing, I think there's a big green button that says download. You want to go ahead and just click that and that's all you have to do. So yeah, um... So this is what the download link on what uh, videos that people make should be of custom maps. Once you do that, you want to go ahead and click the link in the bottom left of the map. You want to click extract to that folder button right there. Once WinRAR opens up, extract it to where you want. I'm going to click desktop so it will be easily accessible and we can see where it is. So once you go ahead, done with that, click OK and you can go ahead and close all that other stuff out. So you guys can see right there on my desktop. The unzip folder for the map is right there. So I'm going to go ahead and just click it show you guys what it looks like. And if anyone has iFile and you guys use jailbreak, you guys know it will look just like that. But yeah, so um, once you've done that, now you are pretty much ready to um, proceed. So what you have to do now, plug in your iOS device into your PC, your Mac, your laptop, whatever it is. Just plug it in and then go ahead and open up iExplorer after you plug it in. And go ahead and wait a few seconds. And iExplorer is going to recognize your device and it's going to allow you to copy the folder into your um, game so you want to click continue in demo mode then you want to go to the left side where it says um, apps make sure to click apps it's all the way on the left side with all the other columns and go ahead and wait for it to load then you want to scroll down until you find minecraft pe minecraft pocket edition and once you find that go ahead and double tap and open it up and just wait for it to load and once it's done click uh, documents um, wait for that to open games um, then you want to go ahead and click com mojang after that, we're almost done. You want to click Minecraft Worlds, and that is the folder that we want to copy it into. So as of right now, I just have one map, bow, Bullseye Bow Minigame, and that's a map I just created. So you guys check out the description. I'll have that map also. So you just want to go ahead and drag um, the, the thing from your desktop, the folder, onto there. And once you do that, you should have it done. So now that we're done with that, the map should be downloaded, and let's go back to our phone see if it's on there. So yeah, we're back onto our phone. And yeah, so let's see if it downloaded into our Minecraft Pog Edition. Let's open up Minecraft. It's upside down. Let's let it flip over. And there we go. Click play. And so you guys can see Redstone. Just like that, you guys have downloaded the map. It's really not too hard. After you download the first time, the second and third time will be a lot easier since the first time you have to wait for all the downloads. But the second time you do it should be really quick. And yeah, just like that, you can download any custom map you want for Minecraft Pog Edition. You can just go ahead and look through all the map that you download and yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it please drop a like down below share this video with your friends so they can all learn how to download maps so yeah that is pretty much gonna wrap it up for this video so anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please remember to smash that like button down below i will talk to you all later and until next time thanks for watching peace out